Hello everyone. In the previous video, we already set up the work environment for our ARCHICAD template. In today's video, we'll prepare a clean file for our template. Just open any file to start. First, let's go to Elements Attributes and the Attribute Manager to access all the layers, lines, fills, etc. that compose our file. Let's delete all the elements to have a clean file so that we can add whatever we want later. Select the elements and then press Purge or Delete, in this way you'll remove those elements. Continue doing this with every element until you leave the attribute empty. As you can see, only the default elements remain in ARCHICAD. We have removed everything that could be deleted. This also has advantages for our template. Now, let's head to view map and delete everything that appears there since we will customize all of this later. Let's move on to layout books and delete all the books since we will configure them for our template. Remember to leave at least one layout book as the system doesn't allow us to delete them all. Let's try deleting the layouts, but we can't remove them because we needed to keep at least one. Don't worry, leave it there. When we create our own template, we can delete it.
Notice that there's nothing in the workspace or in the 3D space. It's all clean from any elements. Something I personally like to do is disable the editing plane. Remember that we are using the preferences we created in the previous video. I also prefer to deactivate show preview in tab bar as it tends to consume resources, and I often end up accidentally clicking on them, which wastes time. I recommend using the third selection method. This tool works the same as in AutoCAD, from right to left, everything that the area touch will be selected, and from left to right you just select the objects that are inside the area. This tool is very useful when you have many elements in your plans. Since we have added some elements to our work environment, we will create a new profile to preserve the new configuration. We can name it whatever we want. This way, if a window closes or if we move something, we can easily revert to our desired setup. Simply go to Options, Work Environment, Apply Profile, and that's it. If you happen to accidentally move or close some windows in your workspace, don't worry. Just apply your preferred profile and everything will revert back to its original placement. Now, we need to delete all the favorites from our file. To do this, go to Palettes, Favorites, and a new window will open. We can restore our workspace by applying the profile we saved earlier. Finally, we can save our file as a template. Go to File, Save As, and select Archicad Project Template.tpl. And that's it. We now have a lightweight file that we'll continue working on in the next video. I hope you found this information helpful. You can find the template file in the video description. Please let me know your comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials on Archicad. See you in the next video.